new evidence of the real location emerges in the Force Fen fake treasure hunt ending. This is the real entrance to the chase as I have gone alone in there. The real chase that led up to the blaze. The real nook Forrest mentioned, which was 30 feet away from the blaze. Forrest was a basketball player in school. A basketball ring found with a metal detector in the middle of nowhere. Halfway up in the chase, leading to Forrest Fenn's secret camping area at the blaze. The real Fenn rock on that ridge with a view of the canyon down. After finding the blaze on the ridge and looking quickly down back to the parking area where you started, we find Forrest Fenn's secret grave marker that was at the very first clue. I found one of Forrest Fenn's treasures he hid at the grave marker that had Clark Kent and Aunt Esther, both DC characters, and they were part of the Marvel gaze. I didn't realize the significance at first because this picture was in the second book. I only had the first book with me, so I thought this led to another clue somewhere else. Because how could the treasure chest be at the very spot the very first clue took me to, right? But during my further investigations, someone stole that treasure chest before I went back. Further investigation proves that this bottle was part of Forrest's gigantic marvel gaze of incredible characters. Two, associate with Clark Kent and Aunt Esther, the two people keeping Forrest Fenn's secret. I have all the evidence to prove there was a fraudulent cover-up ending to Forrest's heroic legacy treasure hunt. This new evidence proves that completely and factually.